Boom. We're unmuted. Uh, I need to boost you up a little bit. I mean, I can adjust my gain and stuff. Yeah, I could just boost you up on Discord. I had you like half volume because of that last time. Again, I'm testing out mics. Shush. Shush. Shush, yo. I've got a headset with a mic that I can't technically do anything to move out of the way. Not like Hi, the Kyle. Kyle's here. Well, not in the call, but he's in the chat for sure. Oh, I, I see the looks. Ever since I taught him that, it's now his like favorite thing to just emote with. His go-to emote. Training GB Fire Emblem characters with an arena. A decent spot if you have good RNG, though also very slow. Uh, If you have good RNG, you also, you know have to restart the chapter if you mess up i taught you that i taught kyle that no matter what he says i taught him that i mean i don't trust either you or kyle to tell me the truth when it involves each other yeah. no floof kyle has no floof i know jamie um, it's very disappointing that kyle has no floof on his head anymore Kyle cut off his hair Jamie, you sound so disappointed with no floof. Oh, Chris and Jamie, do you guys have at least uh, any New Year's resolutions coming up? Because you got two hours before you guys hit New Year's. Oh. Isn't Kyle technically in the New Year? He is. He had the stream for a little bit. Hard reset to not accidentally kill ally, says Luigi. Uh, I haven't had long hair since 2016, dude. So I wonder if, like, when Kyle finally goes back, moves back to the U.S., uh, will he get uh, long hair will again? He, will he re-Americanize or be forced to follow the Chinese way? Or the Chinese? Japanese way? Shush, you continent. <laughs> <laughs> Those are two different cultures, I know. Chinese! Wait. 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 What? 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 It's not... Where are... coming out of your computer. What? What? What's that? That computer. Why is it in that computer? I don't know. You adjust your settings. It's Jamie. Janine's not here. Yeah. Uh, I don't know where Janine is actually. Okay, how do I fix? She's this? about to uh, hit the new uh, year. Nope. She's an hour close to the Yep. My headset is. I don't know what Digit's hair even looked like. Uh, long curly hair. Curly? No, it's not curly. Kyle had like wavy hair. Unless I'm misremembering, I'm pretty sure Kyle had wavy hair. Is it curly? I don't know. It was long. No. It was almost like shoulder length, dude. You can like put your hair in like a bun if you really wanted to. Okay. A wavy and curly. Okay. Janine and Jamie sound so similar. I, it doesn't sound to me, but it's probably because I'm just, I've been in the same area. With, I've, I've heard their voices so many times that I can distinguish between the, the between the two easily. I don't know. You hear? Not at all. I broke it. Obviously.
You uh, good, Jamie? Uh, work. Did, did Jamie get a new mic? No, I just broke mine somehow. That makes sense. You sound uh back to normal okay. again. Okay, finally, ears. I got ears. There we go. Oh, she couldn't hear me before. Wait, what? Okay. What? You're coming out of the TV. I don't know why it's not picking up the headset. Ow! What? Okay, Jamie. Hey. I hate. You yes, and it backfired in my ear. Oh, well, I uh, definitely know. hardest to train. Uh, yep. No, definitely not. Yep. Uh, yeah, I did get a haircut. My hair was getting way too long. I'm glad I got a haircut as well because the snow got worse here in Washington. So it was like, um. Are you training in general? Got it. Yeah. Okay. When you gonna dye it purple? I don't know if I'm ever gonna dye my hair. Okay, honestly, so I'm not the biggest my person to dye my hair. Are not. <laughs> Andre, I'll dye my hair if you dye your hair. Something. I don't know. I know Biz dyes his hair. I don't. I. I don't dye my hair. Personally, don't. All right. Did you want to use this? Maybe, uh, maybe that'll work. Uh... Purple hair blaze to green hair, Andre. When are we starting? Oh yeah, just waiting on uh, Emoto. Uh, oh. Just doing that, just reading the chat. Uh, anyone, what? everyone have uh, any New Year's resolution coming into the new year though? Hello. Oh. Yay. There you are, Mike. Hey. Hi, Mike. Okay. I think I'm working. Is my mic working? Yes. Okay. Works. Wait. It just the map randomizer does not work for my computer. I w I wonder if I if I can make a randomizer and then send it to you. I wonder if that would work. Actually, I have actually Much a copy. better. I might actually have a copy of it. You can try it. Yeah. Actually, I'm I don't even know if I have. Game. I don't have any more rent. No, I deleted them. Uh, Chris, can you make one really quickly from Mike to try? What am I doing? Can you make a randomizer, either Pokemon map or either or, so that Mike can at least see if it works. That and know. Mike might need to use. A you might have to use Mike's specific ROM because for some reason it has to be a specific ROM. Yeah, I think it'll work. For the pro randomizer. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, that's not, that's not how I spell Chris's, uh, username. You switch the R and the C. It's Necrosphere, not Nercosphere. There's also an E there. Yeah. Uh, Blaze, you should, uh, do Gen 4 Loading Zone Randomizer Race. I don't even know what that is. I'm guessing, uh, that no one will get more than three gems no matter how long we play. Mm -hmm. Still got the e. There we go. Oh god, I forgot. You still have a um You still you still have the um shout out clip. Hey <laughs> it's from it's from for here. any ROMs or anything like that. I'm not gonna be sending any over any ROMs or anything like that because I don't want to end up getting in trouble because apparently you're not supposed to be sharing any kind of ROMs or anything like that from what I've read. Well, the thing is, Mike, that is only a through public means. And also, specifically speaking, 
Um, that's the link, like advertising it. Or ROMs, you gotta find it yourself. Sharing it amongst friends, that's fine. But we're not publicly giving out these ROMs to anybody else. So, if you also want to be more technical, technically we already did something illegal because the person who uploaded those ROMs to the website that you downloaded from, Mike, you already got that and that was shared to you. So. Yeah. As long as you don't put it publicly out there, Mike, it's fine. Mm. All right. Well, time to switch over to Radius sure Attorney. How to place this into like a zipped file or anything? Uh, it's been a while since I last. All right, I was in part three of this trial. This is gonna take a while. I think the last time, I don't know when when I did it to play this game. I think I played it like at the beginning of December. And what happened last time was it ended off on a cliffhanger where our client says that they were there. Something exploded, made everyone, everything go up in smoke. And we're trying to find them, I guess. I don't know. What on earth just happened in there? Naruto, I've managed to find out what happened. Oh, did you now? Miss Susato. All right, Chris, can you randomize that file? Working Extraction. What am I doing? Uh, so apparently Mike can't play a certain file specifically. And well, I can't play the file I, I sent over to you guys, but he found another one that works for him for some reason online so it's just like what happens if you randomize that one and see if it works with uh his virtual boy i don't know something's going on with whole, mike's whole setup right now that's, that's fine, fine. I, I, need need it. It. I was i was told hmm? it was an advanced just form that was advanced form of smoke grenade a you of what did device I do? that releases smoke Oh yeah, they never uh, know about smoke grenades at this time period. Also, Luigi Fire saying Roy's Fire Emblem story is interesting. Ringling Fire Emblem six. six. Also, I'm echoing on Jamie's side. No, no, yeah, no. I, I did turn on the Chris Bird thing. I think it's just that I'm so close to Chris. I'll meet myself. It's fine, Jamie. Smoke grenade. Oh, whoops. I. What was it? History? A uh, smoke grenade? It, sound, it sounds like the sort of thing ninjas use. They're just making sure everything is safe now. I think the trial will start again before long. Right, I need to turn up the volume, says Kyle. But who would have done something like that? He's managed to catch someone who was trying to flee the courtroom, apparently. Flee the courtroom? Why? Well, it's a young girl... Of, of around 15, I hear. Young girl. Then could it be the other passenger that Mr. McGilded was just talking about? My thoughts exactly. But he wasn't lying. Oh, that. So what's become of Mr. McGilded, actually? There are so there are so many reasons I need to ask him about. Uh, there's so many things I need to ask him about, but he's not here. I think he was summoned to the prosecutor's antechamber to answer questions. Along with the young girl. Who is she, I wonder? And what was she even doing here at the trial? She was taking a huge risk and for what possible benefit to herself. There's another matter that's troubling me. What's that? 20 pence. Huh? Oh, um... All right, 20 pence was a thing that w they were mentioning that didn't make sense that the fair charged all of them. And then there was the fact that they were trying to convince that there was another passenger in the whole thing. 
Uh, Luigi says, I'm doing Lin slash Elwood story. The Fire Emblem game I saw from his clip was from Warriors Adventure Fire Emblem style. That's true. Uh, Chris was playing that. Running to the coachman, Bep, Mr. Beppo. He took four passengers that night at a fare of five pence each. That comes to a total of 20 pence exactly. But now it seems that there were in fact five passengers. Which means the figures don't seem to add up again. Er, Right. That is strange. Counsel for the defense, kindly proceed to the courtroom. The trial will rec recommence in five minutes. Oh, thank you. Uh, officer, we'll go straight away. Well, whoever she is, I imagine this young girl will be asked to take the stand and testify now. I really can't imagine what she's gonna say, going to say, but it could alter the whole direction of the trial. Who we'll knows soon enough, Miss Sato. Yes. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one to try to finish. Can I finish this one trial within the time period we got or not? That's also another question. Yeah. Finally got a Wyvern Rider to level 20 now to Earth Seal it. Hm. I don't know what that means. Oh, I know what he's talking about. There she is. <sighs> There's a young girl next to Mr. McGilded. Look. She must have been the one caught who caused the disturbance before. I sense the disturbance in the force. Who oh, after that rather eventful recess, the court will now resume the trial of Mr. McG McGinnis McGilded. Now then, Lord Zanzix. I believe you have established the cause of the smoke which veiled proceedings earlier. It seems to have been an advanced form of smoke grenade of the sort typically employed by the army. Good gracious, the army? What in devil's name? It was an elaborate attempt by a girl who to cloak her escape from the public gallery, but she was cut now occupies the stand. Hmm. Your name, girl. Stan. Are you responsible for the smoke today, which induced such pandemonium here in my courtroom? What is the meaning of this deplorable behavior? Him, if I may, my lord. Yes, Mr. McGilded? I think perhaps I ought to explain here why it is that this wee lass was here in the first place and why she tried to bolt like that. It's all tied up with the events of that, that last that night, so it seems. So it is. Hmm. Very well, Mr. McGillard. Give your testimony. You are explained to the court how this young woman is involved in the case. Just what happened that night. It's not like a defense lawyer needs that information or anything. Earth Seal, a way to level up any unit that hasn't haven't been given a rank up yet. A rank up yet. It, okay. It's a it's a master seal. Uh, I still don't know what that is. From Fire Emblem, you use them a bunch. I forgot. It's been a while since I last played Fire Emblem. The young girl. On the night in, in question, I took the back seat in the omnibus and probably nodded off. Then, Begara, a loud thud and a wee scream woke me up from with a fair start. There was a fella collapsed on the floor at me feet, so I sat him up on the seat across from me. Then, when I turned to find out that the scream I had come from, and bless my soul, what did I find? There was a child there, all curled up in the ball, 
hiding or weave itself away. I remain somewhat baffled, I confess. But from what I gather on the night of question, this young girl was indeed riding in the omnibus. Is that correct? Yes, exactly the defense counsel said. This last was the fifth passenger, my lord. Very well. The defense may now cross-examine the witness. Are you ready, counsel? Yes, my lord. Or rather, no. I have no idea where to start. Mr. McGeorgeon was up top. No, Mr. McGeorgeon was actually in the omnibus, uh, Luigi. So he was, he was in the middle of everything. So he was, it was basically, the top, people up top were the driver, the two people up top, the banker and like the, I think the hat person or whatever. And then it was the bricksmith. And, uh, yeah, hold on. I can just look at this. What am I talking about? Yeah, it was basically this, uh... Um, Willy Wonka character. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was basically Mr. McGilded, the Willy Wonka character. Uh, Mason, the brick maker, who do who's the one, the victim. Beppo, which is the driver. Bruce Fairplay. And Lady First. Or the ones at the top. So now we're f finding out that there is a fifth passenger in the whole midst. And I think Christian I took back. Okay. So let's see what we got. So when we got first plus what were there any other passengers already on board? So as it were, yeah, Mr. McGilded was the first passenger in the entire thing, so he was the only one really in it at the time. This is how you already described it earlier. Okay, so he sits like um, across from him. So it was the one not on the driver's side. Falling sound, that sort of noise, which makes sense. There wasn't a soul in the... Wasn't a soul to be seen in the carriage, but the fell on the floor. Hmm. Hmm. So it must have been the girl they're talking about. Helicopters on the floor, beliefs by feet. Alright, so I sat him up. Alright, what we got? Also, why would you sat, sit up a victim? Yeah, that's a bit weird. Hmm. I mean, in a lot of cases, you wouldn't touch the body in modern days. You're not, you're not supposed to. Hmm. I mean, what well, were them back in the day? What year is this supposed to be in? Like the 18th century or something. 19th century, maybe? No, I think 19th century. This has to at least be 20th century if there's a bus. Omnibus. It's not. It's a carriage. It's not an actual bus. So it'll be like the early. Uh, 19th century or something like that. Why are we in a court of law? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Just hang who you think is guilty. Ara? Oh my god, he says Ara Ara. <laughs> well, he says Ara, but not Ara Ara, but still. I'm good, we got Nick saying it. 
I always say it. I, 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 I just need Grace to be on here and then she can say it. Sabotage and they could think you are the murderer, which is also that. Uh, but, uh, but after the ties with Britain and Japan, yeah. Again, like this is a different time period. So modern day rules and common courtesy is very vastly different in this time period. Also, it's a different, completely different country and culture. So, not everyone is thankful for the help, and some would like to see him even dead. So, he's trying to play detective before he actually reported it. Well then, turned off and found out where the scream had come from. Bless my soul, what do I find? As far as you can see, what do you mean? Under me backside? What? So he only saw the victim, so he did say the truth, but he didn't say the in every single detail is what this is coming to. So it's a white lie. Is that what it's called? Those things are called? You admit parts of the truth, but don't tell an actual distruth. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yeah, he was telling the white lie because he didn't He didn't see his backside. Okay, so he was on the other side, which opened up to a bunch of, like, little suitcases, which I did figure that there could be someone in there. So basically what it's saying is Wait, I want to check the bus really quickly. Cuz he said the copy hole. Yeah, so it was underneath it. I want to open it. Give me it. Try the handle. Yep, there it is. So there is uh, enough space for a person to be there. Weren't there luggage here before? Only his seat has the uh, storage compartment, Nick. Yeah, and also to think about it, I'm pretty sure this was had luggage in here. So is he trying to blame the girl for the murder? From what I can tell, he's not exactly making assumptions. Because he says, but like, he heard a scream, but he saw the little girl. So normally a person would think, put two to do together, oh, it's the little girl that screamed. But he sure, says, but like, he doesn't want to assume that. But if it was only him and the other guy and the girl in the cab, it, but you said there were four people? Yeah, so basically up top right here, there are, there were two people up there, passenger-wise, oh, and then the driver. 
Yeah, and then there are two people inside, at least visibly. The person was inside. And then there's the hiding girl, supposedly. Yeah. I actually... Yeah, I swear I saw luggage there, but now they're missing. Or did you take them out when you... Never did. did. Never did. All we noticed is that there were luggage, and now they're gone. That's weird. How did she slide in there mostly unseen? She would have felt... That's also the thing that doesn't make any sense. Because the only way to get into that little cubbyhole, even if there's no luggage there... You would have yeah, to. Yeah, he couldn't it up. get out to attack anybody. Yeah. If he was sitting on top of it. Yeah, if he was sitting on top of it and no one else was there, you would literally have to open it up and then check it. Yeah, that, that's the only thing that does make sense. I think that's where I have to present it. I have to depend. It's the one of those two. Chinwag? Chinwag means uh, talking. Oh, I didn't even ever heard of that. <laughs> right, you sat her next to chat with her next to the dead gentleman. A, a kid. Yeah. I feel like that's such a bad idea. He, he's gotta be the villain. But he's the one that we're trying to... Exonerate? Yeah, like, we're trying to find him not guilty, so he's the innocent man. But he's not making this easy. <laughs> he's not innocent, though, Nick. There's no way he's innocent. Well, I mean, well, we could find out what, how, but we're trying to make him not guilty, is all. Hey, that was a scream of Mr. First who was up the top of the roof decks. Wait, the knife was still in his gut when you moved him? Yep. That would make sense of how they were positioned. They only could see two people, not Mr. McGilded. That, that still doesn't clear his name for possible... Wait, 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 wait. Is that the girl? Yeah, that's the girl. Nick, yeah. there's no way she could fit in that undercarriage. Uh, there's a lot of people who could be very flexible. You know those circus people? if there was luggage in there? No. Maybe, maybe not luck. I don't know. Oh, we're going to have to figure out that. I'm pretty sure there was luggage, but I could be wrong. Certain implausible. The defendant is somewhat diminutive in stature. Very confused to be this young girl. Something doesn't add up. Something really doesn't thing add up, but uh, we're going to have to find out. I'm pretty sure this is the last part of the case anyway. It feels like it. But we need to figure out why all this happened. Her name is Gina Lestrade, my lord. She's a, I think it's Lestrade. Lestrade. She's a chancer. Oh. She's just a pickpocket. She's a pickpocketer. That's commonly a pickpocket. She's a thief. That's why she has to smoke grenades. A petty thief? Wait, she had smoke grenades? Yeah, she's the one who caused the smoke grenades, at least. That's what people believe it she did. Order, order! Is this true, Mr. Lestrade? Miss Lestrade? Miss Lestrade, you will answer the question! Urgh! Oh dear, what's the meaning of this? Yeah. Order, order in my courtroom. Mm-hmm. The girl, she's gone. 
Up in your eyes. I'm over here. Good gracious, how? What's the point in that little sidestep? You know what? What your lot are thinking? Grown ups are all the same. This dirty little dipper, you could say, slipped up and got to cut. Got caught on the job. Got, Irish. got her, herself backed into the corner so she knifed at their gent. Put on! That's what's your what's your in your head, son, ain't it? Yeah. Like why is he why is she Scottish? Yeah. I can't do a good Irish or Scottish accent. She's British! That's what I think of it. It's not the same. You are going to not, offend your British viewer. No, not all. Nah, there's no British viewer watching right now. I'm good. You're going to offend your Australian viewers. Ah, that's different. What did he say? This is the court of law. We're here to determine the truth, not past. And she shoots him the smoke bomb. Yep. Look, knives are for cowards. Only thugs use weapons like that. All I need to order what I do is the... Fingers. I'm a professional, all right. Maybe not in your eyes, but I got pride in what I do. Just as a smoke gun. Mm hmm And that should have been confiscated. Let me guess. You don't count smoke guns among weapons for thugs. Well, this? It looks like a hairdryer. Yeah, this is, was in the bag I left it in the other day. Down to where they keep the four-wheeled drags. It's nice, in it? I like the pink best. Oh, you want to do that wave that thing in my direction again? You admit that you were riding the omnibus on the night in question. Is he drinking on the job? Yes, he is. Jimmy asked why. Oh, why? Because he's a vampire. Wait, really? No, he's not. He's, he's, he, it looks like he kind of is like based off like a vampire design. So think about like the wine as like blood for him. It's all right, lass. You can tell them the truth now. Uh, I guess she trusts Mr. McGillan. All right, yeah. It's just the Irish man said. So he's Irish. Uh, he's Irish, yeah. The court accepts the girl, Miss Jean Lestrade. As a violent and significant witness in the case. 20 minutes for me. Oh my god, Luigi's about to hit the future. I can see the future. I can see the future. According to the young lady, we are now I hear your testimony, if you please. You will tell the court exactly what happened to Omnibus on the night in question. What can she tell? All right, if I have, if I have, if I have to. Oh, I snuck inside the carriage before they, they, lo they hooked up the horses and just as like always. But either it was all right. Old waste of time. Uh, I got nothing to show for tr me troubles that night. I tell ya, you can't see a blind thing in the hiding place. It, it, it's pitch in there. And after a while, I hear a loud bang. Nearly jumped out of my skin, I did. And the, the scream just came out. It's because all, because all that is swelled out found me. He did help me get away in mind. So she trusts Mr. McGilded at least. The only thing that caught my attention is what bang? Yeah, what's with the bang? A knife does They doesn't... both said it now. Well, no, they didn't... S no, the bang would... Well, I guess, like, the bang would be the thud. Because he heard the thud. Yes, you ha you... Yes, he let you go. If I was to understand, why would you let the street urchin go, Mr. McKellett? Oh, it is simply... Simplicity itself, my lord. You see... She couldn't possibly have killed the other passenger. I knew that for a fact. How? Oh. As I'm sure I said before, sir. No 
I was sitting right on top of the old place where she was hiding herself. I think a demonstration is, con is called for. This is where I sat that night. In the cubbyhole of... In the, the cubbyhole of which you spoke in, it's underneath the seat, I presume. Mm, yes, it does appear large enough to accommodate someone of girl stature. Aye, but of course the wee lass was stuck in here, in there. Perhaps I parked myself in the seat for the duration. Because I parked myself in the seat for the duration. Oh. So you see, that's why I let the last bolt. I knew that if the priest found her there, they'd automatically assume she'd done it. But no, I can't really believe in myself if a long life was ruined when all the time I knew she was innocent. Even though you must have realized your action would result in your own innocence being called into question. Not at all, my lord, not at all. I knew my name. I knew my own heart I, that I was innocent. So I thought it was worth taking a punt. Uh, on my own good name for the sake of this less la fortune loss. My goodness. Oh, that's a perfect gentleman. Arr, my lord. This is an example of example of a man who can't possibly be guilty of a heinous crime like this. I'm ashamed of myself for ever doubting you, sir. Calm, calculated reason, one only arrives clearly at the truth every time. The problem is, though, who murdered the man? Yeah, this case feels non-conclusive. It is very non-conclusive because we don't even know who killed because everyone ain't alive. All six members of the jury consensual and they're leading to a verdict of not guilty. And it's not the end, though. Oh, we still don't know who the murderer is, yeah. Yeah, this... Well, it must mean... It must mean... What? That we are victorious. We've won? Or are you sure? Why the fuck <laughs> did he put his foot on the table? Iron healed. Also, why did he even have to do that? If the sight I of my assume to prove a point. If my sight of my iron healed, Wellington offends prey, do forgive the decurt discourse. This really is a consummate example of the one monumental flaw in the judicial practice. Where evidence and the reasoning should be paramount, emotion rules the day. Motion. The witness's last data statement gives us a clear insight into his true nature. What do you mean, his true nature? First case, shut up. This case, boot. Yep. Do you really think Scotland Yard would have su made such a glaring omission? Yeah, Scotland Yard's pretty bad, actually. I don't even know what Scotland Yard is. It's their police system. Oh, yeah. After the in incident, the omnibus was comprehensively searched by officers of the police. Obviously, the interior of the cover hole was the witness, but when it's put it, was included in their investigation. The compartment under the posterior seat was full of coachman's belongings. That's what I thought. I remember yeah, seeing Yeah, you're that. right now. Yeah, so why did it disappear? It's noted in the in black and white here in the police. Oh, because the coachman moved his crap. Good lord! The evidence was has been tampered with. In order to corroborate with Mr. McGilded's story, someone who has unlawfully removed everything from under the seat. That's why it looked so out of place. What? Order, order! Look at how could such a devious contra contravence 
possibly have been affected, Counselor. Counselor. Yeah, three, we must acknowledge the defiances of the deficiencies. Defiance deficiencies of the constabu constabulary in allowing this to happen to have happened. However, I assure you, when the omnibus was wheeled for during this morning, the compartment under the seat was not empty. Well, my Nipponese friend. Hmm? Me? When the carriage was submitted for evidence, doubtless you examined it in fine detail as would any self-respecting practitioner of law. Many look. Trey, what did you find the condition of the under the seat compartment to be? Oh, to be sure, the young gentleman will be able to clear this up in a jiffy. Sorry? Go ahead. You tell the court now, fella. Oh, this is all an elaborate excuse by the desperate Lord Von Sun. Nick, he's really sus, man. Well, counsel, you have something to say in that on this matter. What am I supposed to answer? What can I say about the state of that little compartment under the seat? But... Nick, you didn't look, did you? I did look. That's why I remember it being, um... Yeah, we saw luggage. Like, I did look at it. I believe you, Nick. I, I, I mean, I did. It's been a long time. I did. Justin would agree to this. I mean, Emoto would also agree. Where's Emoto? Not here. Nani? Nani. It wasn't empty, right? Yeah, it wasn't empty. So that... So if I say... Basically, if I say it wasn't empty, it's basically going to make Zeke's be literally the only possible murderer, or at least one of those two be the murderer. It just doesn't make any sense. That's the only thing. Well, she's trying to take the fall for him, is my guess. Is the way they're trying to make it out, but I feel like he's the one who did it, and she well, just wasn't could, there. I think it's what the thing is is that maybe so. I think it was definitely uh, the girl who cleared that out, but I don't know. I still want to say there has to be some kind of explanation for this, but I have to say or it was the driver. I really don't know if giving this answer is helping the cause as counsel for the defense. But as far as I remember, at least, when I first examined the compartment, I'm fairly certain there were a number of articles inside it. Yes. Are, are you sure, counsel? Ara, ara, be whist! Oh, now he's angry. If not, you should check the archives channel at. Well, I mean, uh, we, I'm pretty sure we saw luggage there none, nonetheless, Luigi. I'm pretty sure we saw luggage there. What are you saying now, you tough da? I thought you were on my, my side here. What game are you playing? Your task is to defend the man, I understand. Why would you say something to compromise his position? Because there has to be a different way. As the advocate for the defense in this trial, I confess I'm still not entirely sure where I stand. But it seems to me that I should state what facts I do know as clearly and honestly as possible. To bring tr truth an order. Interesting. It's not altogether pleasing, fella. It's simply telling the truth, Mr. McGilden. Well, don't forget that you're be supposed to be representing my best interests here, lad. Lad. Now then. My fella's memory is a curious thing and not altogether reliable. No, the court must consider the fa Must consider the facts. That there cubbyhole on the seat is as empty as the devil's heart, so it is. 
Hey, Nick. Yeah. We have confirmation that that one worked. Cool. So. For the location randomizing. So now I'm going to be going in to fully randomize it with the Pokemon. So basically, we just need someone else to make it for you, is all. Yeah. Sounds good, Mike. That's good to, that we at least found the workaround. Yeah, I'm gonna find out why it's not working on mine. It might be an issue with my computer. Mm -hmm. So... Just don't tinker around it too much. Let's keep it the way it is for now until tomorrow. Yeah, don't worry. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So does that mean I'm gonna have to, somebody's gonna have to make it for me? Yeah. And then I'll have to play it? Yeah, I think uh, I'm going to let Chris, because at least we know that Chris's stuff works with making it Yeah, I mean, you. just randomizing the city, uh, I all I need to do is like five seconds of testing to figure out if the first warp works. Mm -hmm. And all I know is one point out of a possible thousands. Okay. It, it, it should work after that, but yeah. I mean, depend uh, on, all, on all that, yeah. Oh, either way. <clears> hmm. <throat> I'll figure out what's really going on with my computer on the this end because mm -hmm. I'm not sure on why it's not working. Well, just don't think around too much is all. Anyways, yeah. yep. I think Mr. McGill did, uh, is sus. I don't know. Emoto, what do you think? She's still not in the chat. Well, she she's not in chat, but she's with Mike, so she oh, posted. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like. It has to be a reason to this. Obviously, Mr. McGilded says that's empty, so he makes him very sus now because I did see luggage there. The only question yeah. is, is he protecting himself or is he trying to protect the loss? And why? Yes. It has to be, There's a reason for all this. Do you think perhaps it would be in your best interest now to admit that you might have been mistaken. Why? I feel like something's not right here. Hmm. <clears throat> Should like to draw it away on this matter, I think. The jurors are drunk. This is five o'clock someplace, but still. <laughs> uh, it's not five o'clock in Japan. So unfortunately, I can't say. Well, maybe it's getting it's getting close. Wait, to uh, is that the carriage driver? No, no, it's the carriage director, like the, okay. the, the owner and everything. I feel like he has a stake in this and should not be a juror. Probably, yeah. He was a little bit biased. The problem is at the beginning. Mommy was knowing the house commander used to maintain smooth running of the carriage. Girls real state that the omnibus should be properly and fully equipped at all times. No, it certainly wouldn't have been empty on the night in question. Hippo, isn't that irresponsible? The money landing for these are in a pick purse or, are lying. He's a money lender? Yeah, he gives money like almost like for free and everything. But he does With, give like, he does give money. Interest. Yeah, but he does give money in terms of like loans, and there is a evidence. That we have, including with this book, Depth's Ledger, that Bruce Fairplay, one of the people that was on uh, was on the witnesses stand on on the omnibus, was in debt to him. That needs to be paid off soon, kind of thing. So he's a bit of a mo money lender. Can't believe I was nearly taken in. The stinking rich are always, are always stinkers. Nothing but carrots. A lot of them. Oh no. It's a trick, of course. It's a trick. I think I have a question. Yep. Why does the one juror have a knife? I mean, why does uh, I why do I even have a katana? Right, so I must kinda cut here. Calm, calculated reasoning. One arrives. Could be at the truth every time. Yes, but every time a different truth. But every time a different truth, it seems.
my lord, I humbly with the scales of justice. Really, a verdict of not guilty at this time would be wholly appropriate. Wholly appropriate. Thank you, counsel. But before we proceed any further, there is the matter of the outstanding cross-examination. Counsel, your defense begin your presenting the witness, please. Yes, my lord. What just happened? The whole balance of the trial just shifted almost beyond recognition. The Reaper of the Bailey is at work, it would seem. What? I think that's his nickname, the Reaper. Ben Bikes. Mm -hmm. Bikes. Ben Sykes. So she snuck in before the carriages. Look. Okay. Oh yeah, the point of spending joy a few bob. That, that's a rum idea. Okay. Make money. Okay. The red conqueror driver always grub. He goes for some grub. stuff. Mm. Paraphernalia. Mm -hmm. Paraphernalia, which is like luggage, I'm guessing. It's <laughs> just a random assortment of items. Mm. What, Jamie? <clears throat> Proper uh, cleaning supplies and stuff to keep everything in order on the carriage. Like if someone barfs on the top floor, they could clean it with a bucket if need be. Oh, nice. Happy New Year, Luigi. Yeah, just miscellaneous crap. Welcome to 2022, even though we're gonna follow suit behind. That means Jamie and Chris, you have an hour left. Quickly make the best of the 2021. Nah, I'm good. Yeah. Now, uh, on the hill. God permit. I'm guessing it's just like free ride. Celebrate. Yeah. They have a child. I mean, they're going to probably celebrate during New Year's Day specifically. If the baby doesn't soak up all the money first. Anthony? There's also the fact that there's going to be fireworks at midnight. I hope the, they don't wake the baby. He slept through it last time. Hey, Matt, thank you for the hydrate. Happy New Year, dude. Hope you're doing well, man. Oh, I'm wondering, did you have a beer to celebrate the New Year? Oh, Just Matt's like, here. Yep. How about? Oh, well, how's the start of 2022 for you? Yep. Couldn't possibly be the corporate. The problem is, is that Miss isn't shouldn't be the culprit but i don't think she was even in the wagon because there's only his record of her being there 
Yeah, and it, uh, the only up way... Up until the guy saw her sitting next to the corpse. Mm hmm I think. Not a butcher. Happy New Year, guys. How's everyone doing? Uh, we're doing Good. doing just fine. Um, just playing this game, and before we are... Uh, before we, uh, like, before the new year starts, we're gonna be playing some Back for Blood later tonight. I don't think James, James is not on, so I think he's gonna be, he's currently unavailable. So I think we might have a spot open. Have a look. Also, I hope you take care of yourself, Matt. Don't drink too much beer. So you ain't happy in dark places. That's why she doesn't stick with... That's why why doesn't she stick with pickpocketing people when they open them? Hmm. I mean, she's definitely hiding some things. I mean, where do you think he gets his money, Nick? Mm -hmm. well, that's a good... That's a good idea. They're obviously in cahoots, man. It's 40 degrees here. Oh. Dying. Dude, just come to Washington. It's literally like... What, how, many, how much? Oh, it's like below freezing. It's like negative... Probably like 2 Celsius here for you. Nice. I know it's like below freezing. It's like 0 Celsius and then it's like... 34 Fahrenheit, you s people said. So it's like um, anything below 35 would just like, it'd be like negative like two, negative five, but I think it's like negative two degrees because it's like 22 degrees right now. Anyone here redeem for Matt to drink a beer on stream? Unfortunately, we can do. he has a re redeem a drink a beer on his stream, but unfortunately, I don't think I have enough channel points to even do that. Is he streaming? No, he's not. No. Nah. He's like he's like uh basically retired from the streaming aspect. He has. From what I can tell you, he says. Matt, it's your summer, man. Enjoy your summer. Honestly, I like the cold because it's it's better to get cool. Like you better get to like warm up rather than like Cool down during the summer. Nick, we're missing something with this loud bang, by the way. That's also true. Gingers aren't built for Aussie summers. Man, then move out of Australia, man. You're not built That's for stupid. Australia. Nick, do you realize how expensive it is to move in and off that an island? Ah, it shouldn't be that too hard. Just Pack a few beers and then just hike. Uh, be like hitchhike on a boat. No, it's it's really hard to even move cross continent. It is permanently. Also, Mike, what uh, card pack? Magic. Magic. I don't even have any magic cards. Dangerous life. I am running out of evolving sky, so that's unfortunately gonna go out soon. Also, hi Skull. Happy New Year to you. To you and Craid. Not. Oh, she saw it. Hold it! 
So she couldn't get away from that guy. Is it New Year? Not New Year yet. Three more hours. Three more hours and then it's New Year for me. I think something still doesn't feel right with that story. What, him putting him up? Still bleeding, yeah. That, that's what stabbing does. That is actually true. But, I mean, even if he's already dead, he could still be bleeding, Jamie. Happy New Year, Craig. thing he had they could he, she couldn't just automatically leave otherwise they would know so they just had but nick if there's blood on her hands there should be handprints inside the compartment maybe uh likewise let's see happy late new year's yeah nick why are you so far back in the past yeah i don't know this this game is back from the like the 19th 18th century or whatever i don't no, know no 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 matt's still referencing the fact that you're in last year you oh that one Oh, uh, yeah, uh... If it makes you feel better... Biz is even further back. He's two hours behind. So it's gonna be like five more hours for Biz for midnight. Biz in, uh, Alaska? He's in Hawaii. Hawaii is like the furthest from time zones, I think. True. No, that's not how you do I think it's Guam. Guam, really? Hmm. Somewhere... I think Japan's like the first but Austra like i think australia isn't australia a little bit sooner than japan no though? it's the land of the rising sun no because like um at eight o'clock usually that's like one o'clock for kyle but it's like three for matt so um, australia should be sooner than there's, japan there's at some of it that's stuck in the ocean though that's true it uh I don't know uh, rigor mortis occurs within the 8th versus 8088. Uh, Technically, why does... New Zealand is the first. Oh, I don't know, Luigi. Oops. New Zealand's the first to change? I don't know. I blame Kyle. Probably, I'll blame. But yeah, Matt, if you have back for blood, you might uh, you can join us for that if you're not too hungover. Hmm. <clears throat> it looks like uh, the Midway Island Atoll. Atoll. Yeah. We could just find some conclusive evidence. That or Baker Island. Well, you can't blame me. I don't live in Australia. Aussie is later than Japan, pretty sure. Some of Australia, not all of it. The last place on Earth to be in 2021 is, I think, somewhere on called Baker Island. Hmm. Uh, Skull is mainly. Uh, Mike and Chris and I are gonna be playing Back for Blood. Mm -hmm. Is that Grace? Where Grace? Queen Sakura? No, that's uh, official underscore Grace's Grace. Oh. I don't care. Sakura. Oh, don't make me ban you, Will. Oh, we're banning Will? Alright. Yeah. Apparently he's not going to be joining us for tomorrow now.
Where do you say so, that? Is in Australia. So Australia is the first and also like it's so it's near Australia. So like literally Australia would be the first in the world to change. No. No, no, no New Zealand. Oh, New Zealand? No, sorry. Um, damn it, I just had that open. It's kind of two thirds of the way from Australia to Hawaii. So it's in between Hawaii and Australia. Yeah. No, the island of Kiritimi Mati is the first thing in, into the new year. Which is where? Uh, I can give you the longitude and latitude. Uh, do you think I know maps? It's uh, Christmas Island. What the heck is that? It's an island in the middle of the freaking Pacific. What do you want from me? I... Yeah. No one cares about New Zealand. I care about New Zealand. New Zealand had Lord of the Rings. I don't even... Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Lord of the Rings. I appreciate them. But I like New Zealand's locations. No, it's, it's the country of... Kiribati. Depends on what part of Australia. Western Australia is behind Japan. The coast is ahead of Japan. Melbourne and Sydney are the first major cities to separate New Year's. Somewhere in that thing. Excuse me. Oh shoot! I didn't. I didn't even mean to press A. Is it a? It is a really tiny place. It exists. It's the first thing in the weird time zones. See the new year. Yeah, there's a lot of places in the world that are just. Kind of... I want to know how this works. Hold it! Right, I want to look at this well. It maybe jump screen involved in terror, literally. Or the cushion lighter. All right. All right, we'll stop with the. Uh... Too much time zones. Time zones hurt. Mm-hmm. No one cares about New Zealand. Nick, are you just uh, rummaging through the conversations? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which one I'm trying to present an evidence for. Check the knife. But if she was reading, um... It, I'm thinking of both hands is the thing I'm trying to look at. Because, like, um, there's the gloves. The defendant says, uh, was wearing at the time, but only the right glove was bloody. Well, yeah, if you pick them up. Because it's, uh, it's the other guy who had the gloves, right? But if she... Wouldn't it be on the inside of the, uh, There would be blood on into the inside of the cabinet, and the paraphernalia would technically have blood because. Yeah, the where's the para where's the paraphernalia? So I, I there's not nothing. I can't. There, it's missing. It's not part of the evidence. That's the can only you problem. Can you show us the evidence. Yep. Well, I'm trying to help you here. Yeah, no, I'm just like there's nothing for the luggage though. The, the, if we go back and seeing the, what a luggage would be, it's not there. That's the only problem. So it's missing somewhere. This one? Yeah, this is like the, vic the victim's blood. On the edge of the... Yeah, that's blood right there. No, on the lip of the... Yeah, I, can, I can't, I can't move, looted. Jamie. Right now. I'm trying to go faster, but unfortunately... Wait, why did he say I have a bad feeling about it? 
It doesn't look right. Look at it, look at the color difference between the blood on the seat and the blood on the floor. No, yeah, Van Zeeks has meant had made no mention of it. That also makes sense because I don't remember seeing this blood stain before either. Now that I think about it, I really don't remember this. Yeah, look at the color of the blood stain on the seat. The color is too wrong. Dried blood gets darker. That's fresh something that's not blood. It's also that, to keep in mind, that's a lot of blood coming out of a guy who'd been stabbed. And the knife was still in his body. Yeah, for the amount of blood evident to the scene, they're upping the blood count. Hey, there's blood on the handle. Yeah. Was that blood on the oh, handle? There was blood on the door handle. No, there's no. Is there not? No, I don't the see it. tip of it? No. I guess not. Uh, oh, I see it was the reflection, but uh, yeah. I was looking at it had blood was uh, when you opened the seat. Mm -hmm. I don't think you can go that deep, Jamie. No, the handle was red. There's a oh, blood. No. Uh, it was on the the chair. Happening. So, cubby. All right, let me go back in. I don't know if that's You're missing. We're missing something that's key here. It, there has to, like basically the game is telling yeah, me. Yeah, I, I know. I yeah. This type two. Well, I mean to explain it on the stream is like I'm. I have to present an evidence. To progress the story, and one of these evidences is different. The color on the floor matches none of the blood stains that you have, by the way. Yeah, I, I'm what I'm what I'm thinking is either the defendant's leather gloves or the omnibus. And why I say that is because this statement right here says both me hands got covered in blood. But they're not her gloves. She's not the defendant. It's the guy who's the defendant. Maybe the carriage is something that we have to show. Has to be something we're missing. What is her hands? Something's bothering her. Wait, the she can't see a thing. Commentary. Well, the thing is, is that she didn't see the whole thing, but she, when she was able to lift it, she was able to see something. She saw him lifting the body off the floor. Yeah. That doesn't seem right. Well, the problem is, is that that goes still with his statement of saying that he lifted it up to put it right, upright. Which, in a sense, is still right. It fits in that logic. Hold on, check the ledger. can't really check too much in terms of this because all it will say is that gentlemen's names. Yeah, the, this ledger I think is completely useless to this current matter. Did you have an autopsy? Yep, but uh, no. It was just says the na knife to have Dottoman. Died to internal bleeding. 
Well, the problem is, is that even if that's inconsistent, Jamie, we cannot present that evidence because in the statement, there's nothing saying that is important. No, 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 no. if he'd fallen out, there'd be more than just a single stab wound. Right? Not necessarily. It was straight into the stomach. I think it's the loud. I don't know. Uh, it's confusing, that's for sure. Try the loud bang. Well, let me press this out again. Point is, it made me jump. Thanks, Chris, for the 15 months. You're welcome. Got a cushion at. Made it lighter for a sudden. That's gonna be helpful because she didn't see anything. Wait, 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 wait. They've completely dropped the thing about her scream being what gave her away. Well, no, like in the previous one. No, no, the only reason he knew where she was is because there was a scream. Well, no, no. No, he didn't because, like, in his statement of of Mr. McGill that says he w woke up because there was a thud and then there was a scream. So he woke up because of both of them. And then he didn't know where the scream is, but he saw the guy up there, down there. And so he lifted it up and then he saw that she was still peeking out. That's why he found her underneath him. I don't remember him mentioning anybody peeking from underneath the thing. That's the thing is that he, it, he avoided it, but at the same time, it not necessarily is necessary to the whole, his statement. Deja vu. <laughs> Deja vu. Deja vu. Uh, can you question McGilder again? I can't, actually. It's, all, it's only her. It's gotta be in like one of her first few statements then, Nick. It's either, he, he didn't make a jolt about it. I don't know, Deja Vu keeps coming up, Luigi. I don't know why. Hey, Moto, I need your help. Do you want me to look something up, Nick, or do you just... No, no, I'm, tr I'm trying not to use a guide for this. That's the thing. I have five strikes. You haven't striked yet. That's the thing, yeah. You haven't been able to present uh, evidence, though. There's the like a key. Wait. The bloke at... A knife in its gut, he was still bleeding, and the carriage lurched a bit, and it ended up falling onto me. So that's how the hands were covered in blood. Got it. No. I think she's smaller than her character is being portrayed. I'm trying to f <laughs> well, no. Oh, now he actually activates something. Excuse me. So I was missing that. Wrong, Mr. McGilded. Oh, 
I do apologize. There was... Is there something the matter, Council? I'm just wondering if Miss Lestrade's last comment made something occur to you, perhaps. You seem to be thinking something to yourself. Oh, no, no, no. It was nothing important. It was feeling bad for the poor lass is all. I remember feeling desperate as myself. As all the young lads shut up in the dark. It was terrifying. So I was. See, yes. I'm sure we can all sympathize. I'm still scared of the dark now. I and I and I don't know about the mystery itself, but I find the darkness seems to make make everything you hear seem that much louder as well. Fine. Yeah. I suppose I, I I suppose suppose it does maybe. Straight. Did you hear something that night? Anything on un an unusual noise, perhaps? Nah, no, not really. Huh? All I caught here was the uh, Irishman snoring. The jabbers! There's no need to tell the whole world of, of me foibles, you little scamp. Wow, they're just pointing out. Hmm. What a pity. If only Mr. Strait had heard something, it might have been given to us a vital new clue. Yes. What should we make of the last statement of hers? It's... It's always important. My lord. I believe the statement just made by the witness is profoundly important. Profoundly important? But, but all she said was that she heard nothing. Yes, which is profoundly important. Point. I'm also almost sure of it. They all keep referencing a goddamn banging noise. I'm almost sure of that I don't understand the inner workings of your Eastern mind, Council. Nevertheless, Miss Jin Lastrad, you are supplement of all about this by revealing last big approach. What? Supplement? What are you on about? Don't give me uh, all the fancy talk. I know, know what you're trying to do. What to do? Well, it won't work on me. That's right. Insult the judge. Always a good move. So now I can press this. It's the moment you hid yourself. Just push the cushion and have a butcher's to see what not. Okay. All right, so he was sat there. Adam and Eve at A. Mm-hmm. Never heard the door. Doesn't add up. Yeah, it doesn't add up. Happy New Year, Mick. Happy New Year. In 30, less than 30 minutes, you and Jamie are going to be hitting the New Year. Yeah. Mr. Strad, Strad, what have... What you you have just told the court is clearly at odds with the facts. Opinions. At odds? What are 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 you sure, man? Absolutely. Seems I learned Japanese friend is not as dull witted as I feared. But Van Sykes realized it too. He dropped from the skylight. Mm -hmm. Why is he using the proper name? Council. I don't know. I you must insist to bolster your claim with evidence to some explicitly party's name at the very least. Yes, my lord. I expect you to demonstrate this alleged contradiction to the court. 
going to Miss Lestrade, whilst she, she was hiding in the omnibus that night, she heard nothing but the sound of Mr. Gitter snoring, but I think, you know, so you think. There's something that else she should have heard. She's 17, boys. She's she's legal. She's not a child in that day and age. What the heck? Well, people only live for like, what, till 60? Back in the 19th century? Yeah. 40. And this guy lived a long time. 40 to 50 was a pretty good life expectancy. Uh, let's see. He should, she should have heard thrice. But do I show evidence or should I show a person? I think a person. That's what I think. But yeah, she didn't hear him at all. Very well, my lord. Allow me to elaborate. On a particular sound that Miss Lestrade could have failed to hear at the night of question. The sound cl very clearly explained by the presence of this following person. Nice fight, fired Mason. Yes, my lord. The sound that Miss Lestrade cannot have failed to hear is that of the victim, Mr. Mason, boarded, boarding the omnibus. Order, order. Explain your reasoning, Council. Miss Lestrade, allow me to confirm something. You claimed earlier that you were the first person on the omnibus. Is that correct? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course I was. I got on the while I got on while the driver was in the pub, didn't I? And the next person to board the omnibus was Mr. McGilded. That either was not a soul was in the cabin when I w was aboard. Kind of aboard, at least not in plain sight. We were in, at, to all intents and purposes, alone in the closed cabin of the omnibus at the time. Did I not say as much? I wasn't traveling with anyone else, if that's what you mean. What do you mean? Uh, I saw him get on, I remember. He was cracked under the co seat cushion. He, he was on his, o his own, for sure. And from what, I, what we've heard, the carriage made a, norm, a norm number of stops after that on its onward journey, during which time did you not hear the door opening or closing at all? Ah, uh, I never, I never heard of it, heard it. That's exactly what I was listening for. Weren't I hit? Weren't it? The waiting for the swell to leave. In which case, when and how did the victim end up in the carriage? We know that the victim collapsed inside the enclosed cabin of the omnibus. Therefore, Miss Lestrade's statement about what she did or did not hear is at odds with the facts. Yes, this petty thief statement was clearly flawed. And Zarks? Yes. He knew. He knew all too well that there was an inconsistency in Mr. Lestrade's statement. <laughs> it would seem wor uh, words of thanks are in order for my learned friend. What are you talking about? You have demonstrated matters impeccably. Witness and her colorful statements are entirely unreliable, and her words are co convenient untruths. Nothing more. That's yeah, right. The victim possibly not ordered the omnibus. Makes no sense whatsoever. This girl is a pickpocket. I'll forget that. I like how she had her fist up ready all the entire time. Nick, you're gonna lose this case, my sir. Fuck. Yep, she, she didn't even say anything. I didn't want to judge 
a dear little mite, just because she has, has some rather naughty ways. I must say, I can't abide liars. We well, neither can I. It's the foreman. I didn't want to judge a girl best because she has uh, some less than salubrious ways. But I must say, not abide liars. Mm-hmm. Uh. Oh, no, Roto. That's five juros leaning towards guilty. Yeah, or... He drinks a lot. Yep, he does. Well, your consideration for the others is refreshing, my Nipponese friend. Do the considerable troubles you have spared me. Didn't even open his mouth. It's very refreshing. Ugh! Urgh. What are, are you playing in that? Have you ever forgotten who you're working for? You're useless Eastern uh, a madman. A, a, a mad... A madan. There. Stop licking your knife. Oh, is it, this is carnage. It's perfect. You know, there's the only one left. The way this is going, I know. If we can't find some new way to convince everyone of Mr. McGitter's innocence, the judge will rule and we all have lost. I very much wanted to believe the words of one of London's most respected gentlemen, but those of us in service know we must accept hard truths. Yes, the witness's last statement seems to have revealed a critical inconsistency in her story. However, if we were, if we consider the possibility of that her statement is in fact the truth, it may shed an entirely new light on this whole case. What are you saying? Counsel! I'm sorry, sir. Whatever do you mean? Counsel! I will not tolerate your attempting to prorogue my any my adjudication. Bring yourself at once. And the accused ordered the omnibus that on the night in question the victim was nowhere to be seen. Subsequently, the carriage door was not heard opening a single time as testified the witnesses in the stand. And yet the victim's body was found inside the carriage. Actually, I just thought of something. They could have bought it at the same time. Right? No. Wouldn't it have the body been thrown in? Yeah, from the skylight. The loud bang? Yeah, it's like the loud yeah. thud. The guy fell. From the skylight. Oh. Uh... That's what I've been saying for the last few minutes. Sorry, Jamie. I didn't hear that last part. I didn't hear you say skylight. That's the thing. Wait. Can the skylight be open? We never confirmed that. But it's never denied. We never tried the skylight. It's not damaged. No, look at that. There's a latch. There's a latch with a handle. You could go boop. Oh, it's coming together now. Petty thief's words are to be believed. How do you explain the victim's miraculous appearance inside the omnibus? There's only one way to explain the victim's how the victim came inside the carriage. If the door wasn't open, wasn't opened even once. The only explanation is that the victim entered the ca enclosed cabin some other way. Objection. I wondered what new fancy you would come up with in your bland panic. I feel like he should know about the omnibus better than this. But behold, the omnibus here is already to see. Only one side of the enclosed cabin is furnished with a door and the other uh, has only windows. Fixed windows which cannot possibly be opened. In short, 
There is no entrance in the cabin other than the door. But there could be. There's one possibility you haven't considered. Oh, really? Yes, one other way inside that isn't the door. Another it opening. Is. Yeah, that, that the use of which allowed the victim to appear inside the enclosed cabin. All right, Council. The defense will identify the location of Tour of the Court. Here's the only bus which ended it occurred. Where on earth is entrance by which you propose a victim in heaven? Gotta get it right. Take that! The answer is obvious. It can only have been the skylight. Say the skylight? You knew the crisp proposal almost as me lost for words. However, the skylight may have been large enough for some un to pass through. You saw your claim, but do you have the shred of evidence to support your ab idled brain theory? Both Mr. McGilded and Le Miss Lestrade said the same in their testimonies. They each claim to have heard a loud thud such as the noise made by someone falling to the floor. Yes, which has already been explained. Oh. Uh, Nick, now I understand. That's what I'm trying to get. I, I had a suspicion from the very get-go when I saw some of the characters. I feel like we are getting to piece out how this thing played out. I get it now. As the sound of the victim falling far from her seat, his seat having been assaulted, with a dagger. Yes, it has, but would a man slipping from his seat on the floor really have made such a loud noise as the witness described? Like a loud bang, as it said. A noise loud enough to cause Mr. Lestrade to let out an involuntary cry. In fact, oh, good gracious! Perhaps, in fact, that was the moment that the victim made his entrance into the cabin. No, let me phrase that. The victim didn't enter the cabin as such. He fell into it. Objection. We're now suggesting that the victim fell from the skylight into the cabin. That's simply impossible. How can you be so sure? Because if the victim had fell inside the, through the skylight, as you say, the passengers on the roof would have seen it happen. And yet, not one person had made a mention of such events in their testimony. Well, um, yes, that's true, but... I the humble fellow make a weak... <laughs> hmm? What? He's not humble at all, but okay. Humble fellow, make a wee comment here. Mr. McGilded. To be sure now, the f two fellows who were setting sat on the roof that testified afore, said nothing of the fitting victim falling through the skylight. But it seems to me, my lord, that tis not so much a case of them not saying, but... I... Tis a case of them being unable to say. What? I think perhaps the two fellas do be having something of a compelling reason not to have me to mention what happened. Would you also not agree, fine ladies and gentlemen of the jury? <laughs> My goodness, surely not. Two chops on the roof? You mean the ones who stuck the knife in the man were? Tore her sweater. 
Mm-hmm. Just what? Oh, you're insulting here, you blitherer. Oh, that's a different thing. You rotter. Uh... Yeah. He said, you rotter. What are you insinuating? This is a flaming outrage. I, uh, I have set my good mind to give you a blinkering in a minute. You'll be... You give your a scene. Huh? They're threatening assault in a courtroom. Yep, they are. You... Give her a shiner in a minute, he said, so that will I. It's the fair play. You are effectively accusing us of city gentlemen in a well-respected banker. Me, a very angry hatter. Suggesting that one, like me, could have stabbed that man in the guts. It's... It's... It's a great disgrace. Scandalous. It's... Uh, I protest. I protest the strongest possible terms. Why is first freaking the fuck out there? He's going through to hit that guy's hand, by the way. Yeah, sure is. <laughs> He's not gonna be okay. He is not okay. Nope. I, I protest too. And you, you rotten scoundrel. But the thing is... Where's Beppo in all this? Who's Beppo? The, dri the driver. the driver. Oh, that's a great question. He's the guy who charged everyone one more pence in all this. And even if it, it's all true, he would know the customers. He's the one right. who knows every customer and he was charged with everyone. So he knows what happened to the victim when where he sat. Nick, I feel like this is all just a setup, man. This game is all set up to, like, the end game slash next game. Which is the first Phoenix Wright? No, no. There's, like, they're basically... These two are basically an adventure for Phoenix Wright's ancestor, kind of making him a Wright's name into history books of law kind of thing. Oh. Even though they're all just a bunch of guys who need a video game to player to help them out. Yep. Order, order, this is not the time, witnesses. I will not put a bit. This won't an invasion of the stand. Return to the enter, enter room at once. Enter room. But, but this is beyond the reason, my lord. Oh, this is outrageous. It, it's, it's very hurtful, you know. My lord, if I may comment. Go ahead, Thorfinn Sykes. It was the defense that incited this outburst from the witnesses. I learned it. Friend has seen fit to abandon all protocol and accuse the witnesses without proof. He didn't accuse nothing. Accuse? I, I never intended to. It seems. Tongue is wanting. Yeah, he never accused. It was no, he not. It's Mr. McGilded who accused. You proposed to this court that the victim fell through the skylight from the roof deck of the omnibus. That hypothesis cannot possibly stand without the roof passengers being aware of the event. Nick, the uh, clicking noise is coming back. You have braid branded these gentlemen liars and you have intimidated intimidated their criminal guilt. In our British courts of law, that is what is a term of baseless accusation. It's also that you're accusing us from making this base, quote-unquote baseless accusation when we never clearly said anything about it. Plus, there's also the fact that those two people saw two people inside the carriage and didn't say anything. Hmm. It seems that he... It's also jumping to conclusions, Mr. Zykes. I know it was rash to put the idea forward without any factual evidence, but... I can't just dismiss it without a second thought. What are we wasting what our time for? Get to the... <laughs> testify! I thought I was a 
was something fresh say about that hat from the moment I laid eyes on that fellow. They're all wearing hats. It's true. One, one, way, one way or another. If there's filth or rubbish in the mist, we must dispose of it at once. What in the fuck? Public gallery are... A frenzy. It's fair play, Mr. Farsh. My lord! You will take the stand again and make another formal testimony. In reference to the incident brought by the friends. Oh, uh, yes, my lord. I didn't come here for this. It don't come at all. Time to think this through. All I can do is keep pushing forward. Oh boy, here we go. Killed him. Murder goes with fire. You were the only... We were the only two up to the roof deck. Dead or alive, I can swear to that. If anything had to happened where we were sitting, don't you think one or uh, the other of us would have noticed? In any case, none of us knew the first thing about the victim. We had no reason to kill the man. The skylight was shut in the entire time. I tell you, you couldn't possibly have opened it. Mm-hmm. If you're sure, so sure the victim fell through the skylight, where's your proof? I must say that that listening to this, test to this testimony is, it is somewhat hard to imagine. You know, how either verdict this could have performed by a malevolent act on this open rooftop deck. Without the other noticing for width. That's right. You see? We're, in, we're instant, I tell you. So logically, of course, the argument falls down if the two of you were in collusion with another. What? Eh? According to the investigation by Scotland Yard, the two witnesses share no common deal. I can't trust the coppers, and, and more, and, and I trust the stinking rich. Doesn't feel right here. What's Beppo? That is going in our favor, really. Why do I feel un so un Alright, answer defense. Over to you, your cross and I Yes, my lord. I think this trial is going to get a part four. Dude, this is a long trial. These trials have gotten longer and longer each game. Mason, climb up the roof deck. Up by the dickin. They were both at there at the time. No. Oh. Something's going on with each of these guys' statements. Hold it. The omnibus was light up. what he said. Oh, instead of that's what she said.
he'd be very suspicious. Suspect, and this is only fair that all right. So, in any case, neither of us knew the first thing about the victim. First had prior victims. Nope. Is he a hat maker? Yeah, he's a hat maker. Can't make a hat to stay on his head. Yeah. I mean, he could have slippery hair. Oh, no. You missed the bubble. I know, I just want to go through the dialogue because there's sometimes interesting extra ones. It's the third one that I go through anyway. So it's just like sometimes they have interesting little dialogues, and the other times it's like it adds a little bit more to what's going on. Did get a new haircut, Rivers. Also, Happy New Year, bud. Also, Happy New Year to you, Chris and Jamie. It is the New Year. Happy New Year. Sure. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Ooh, I'll be following you in about two hours. Too early for this crap, man. At that point, I'll be playing games for four hours. <laughs> Hi, Kurt. Hi, Kyle. Hello. Welcome, welcome future Kyle. Hello, past Nick. I noticed that. Uh, what's it like over in 2021? Uh, currently, it still sucks. It's all cold. <laughs> and yeah, it is quite cold here as well. How many people Chris and died I took the strats today? of because both of our electric blankets broke, so we went and got new ones. Because that's like a very warm strat if you're just sitting around not doing much. But it is a fast speedrun strat, though. I mean, you're going to be sitting perfectly still while. While using it, so no. So yeah. Do you not have floof anymore? I when Nick says floof, he's referring to me having long hair, which no, I've not had shoulder length hair since 2016. Okay, okay. I thought it was like you shaved it to the skin. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, my hair is like you see pictures of me that are more recent than 2016. Like my hair no. is like that length. No, no, I, I did not shave a... my head, and I'm not going to shave my head. I need to see a picture of Photoshop of Kyle having a bald head now. God, no. I was totally misunderstanding everything. Dude, when I got my hair cut super short, uh, like, like before senior year of high school, like, I'm not cutting my hair that short again. Like, it just... I gotta have at least some curly hair, I think, for my hair to look good. Mm -hmm. That's so river... Super short hair, just, it makes me, it makes me look too young, and it makes my head look massive. I hope you're doing well, Rivers. Uh, hope your 2022 has started off nice. And also, how you been doing? And Grace, how you been doing? Grace says hers didn't break. By okay. the way. Oh, I thought. Oh, okay, I think I said mine broke, and I thought Grace was like me too, but maybe not. Yeah, me Grace too. just needed a bigger one, according to Grace. Oh, there's another yes, statement I, I that needs to be added. I can see your comment. Yeah. So there's two statements I need to press. So for uh for Rivers and Grace and Sarah watching me play Mario Sunshine yesterday. Right now, I'm turning on Mario Sunshine. Uh, just for I'm gonna I'm gonna look for the blue coin that I missed in Bianco Hills yesterday and just get that off stream because, you know, might as well just do that instead of running around aimlessly on stream wasting time. I'll do that. Because I, I have 29 of the 30 coins in Bianco Hills, and I was following a guide yesterday, but for some reason I'm still missing one. So, I did find the picture guide that one of my uh, one of my chat commenters was referring to, though, and I think that'll be a helpful resource. Yep. Hello from the future. I'm 
I'm here, been here for a while. Uh, yeah. I also got that notification that from your server for some reason. I didn't even read it. Is Jamie, are you saying that Kyle's current haircut or is it saying that's your current haircut? Here, this is what I look like. <laughs> Wait, what, Jamie? I can barely hear you. That's because she's speaking through my mic. No worries. That is my current haircut at the moment, unfortunately. I have to wear it back in order for that not to happen. Uh, hey, Chris and Jamie, you guys should be uh, ready right now for uh, for Carl to try to sell you a Best Buy membership. <laughs> Fan I, I, Fanto Best Buy VR Fanto is Best Buy VR? Team. What did he change? Hey, what the frick? Oh, huh? that was me. <laughs> like a week ago. <laughs> What the frick? Oh my gosh. You don't pay attention. Welcome, Carl. What I miss? What do you All miss? Right. Hi, guys. What do you miss? Uh, this whole trial is going twist left and right on detours. I'm oh, you're on this trial. Okay. Yeah. We were suspicious about McGilded, and now we're... Oh, whoops. I posted my freaking big brain picture in the wrong channel. <laughs> I was wondering <laughs> I why you posted it there. Randomizer. Hold on. <laughs> big brain yeah. is not so big, huh? <laughs> it's not. It's just that the last channel I was looking at was the Pokemon Randomizer. Take care, so. Rivers. Sure, it's so cold, my finger twitched. Having comfy lurks. Don't worry, Grace. After there this trial, uh, when we get to a nice stopping point, um, we're gonna Whoa. kill some zombies for a bit. Oh, really? What game is that? Okay. Uh, it's it's something called Back for Blood. It's made by indie developers uh, who were. Okay who were uh, bought by Tencent and uh, were the creators of Left 4 Dead. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard the title before. Well, creators of Left 4 Dead was originally in, like, Valve, right? I feel like they yep. moved on from Valve. Yep. Valve just gave up. What? Valve I mean, gave with up Valve with Steam, I, I, I guess you can't really say on a business standpoint they don't really need to move to making games anymore. Which sucks because everybody wants their third and fourth game, but they're never gonna do it. Right, that's that's why. why. Does mm -hmm. Valve actively make games anymore or no? Technically, no. yes. They did. Yeah. Well, technically, yeah, they did with Half Life Alex for like VR. Uh oh. Like, the, the, the thing I is about that, though. yeah, the thing is about Valve how they literally work environment is like is like um, they, if you're a developer there, you can be whatever developer you want. You're not set in a job. Like if you if you're for example, uh, working on Steam, say like the storefront, making sure it works all right and everything, you can be working there. But they have it set up that you have your desks literally roll to any office to work anywhere. So if you like, oh, I'm done working on Steam. I don't feel like working with Steam anymore. I'm gonna work on um, some on the Steam on, on the Valve VR headset and then move there. Like it's mm -hmm. literally like they they allow, which is nice to have developers have the opt in, opt out. opting into whichever they want to do but it also has such a deterring factor of so many projects gets on shelf gets on hold for a long time because of that right if smooth, does that mean they do marker jousting on their desks while pushing them around probably i surprised actually mm -hmm. sorry my mind goes to weird places when i get tired no, no worries, no worries. Jamie. No worries. I mean, it's the New Year's, so... That, well, not it's New Year's for us, Carl. We still have two hours left. Carl, you have two more hours to sell Best Buy memberships in 2021. Uh, okay, actually, can I can I get this off my chest for a second? Yeah, uh, um, go for it. Okay, so literally, just real quick, no worries. Literally, we had... We were short-staffed again today. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. However, I had a line of literally 30 people That's and more. Good. And guess what? I was the only one up at checkout that could do it, that was available to do it. So I called right. for a code one for people to come up and help me out. We literally had no one else that could help me. So I was stuck there for literally over half an hour dealing with this and it wouldn't, and it just wouldn't, like, it, the line didn't get any smaller. Yeah, that's the problem with um, oh. <laughs> the staffing. I had to deal no, with like, that when I was in, I had to literally deal with that when I was in uh, Office Depot. I was literally the only, the, on, the mainly, I was assigned as a cashier and only cashier. Everyone else was assigned as on floor and everything. And so most of the time I would actually be cashier only and I would not even get to move around the floor. 
That is my day. Yeah, and my gosh. It got so eventually my manager forced me to take a break once when they managed to get people. <laughs> mm hmm I am so sorry. So, I'm glad you got to uh, take a break. You have to be forced to take a break. Yep. Well yeah, but, yeah, because literally I was I didn't like I was I didn't have any downtime like during that. No breaks. And the thing is that I mean here's the thing, we were supposed to have another staff member, but they clocked out early. Mm-hmm. And never came back. It never came back, yeah. <laughs> actually. Yeah, so it's like, I, I actually me... saw yeah. um, an interesting thing in the Jet community recently um, where people were asking about, like, culture shocks that people experience when they return to their home country. And somebody made a point about, like, the retail culture in, like, the U.S. versus Japan where, like, in, like, in the U.S. it might be a thing that, like, if it's a retail store and it's, like, you know, there's only, like, one customer left or, or, or like, two customers or whatever or something like that. Then they'll just like yeah. close all the other registers and just like leave one open for like the last few customers. Whereas in Japan, the custom is like literally if you're in a combini and there's like a couple of staff like working there at a time, and just one of them is working register, and then there's one more customer queues up and they're waiting in line, another staffer will immediately just come over and man the other register to get that one person checked out. Like, like yep. let's get you out it's of here. Kind of the, so yeah, it's just kind of the way home. Japan works. They're just like, we will not waste anybody's time in getting them checked out of our store. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, let's go pursue this one. Mr. McGill. Yeah, hi. Huh? No, no, nothing. It's okay. Yeah. Yes, counsel. What can I be doing you for? Read the witness's last name and give you a pause of thought somehow. Not the remotest connection. Is that now, I wonder? What are you insinuating now? Ah, Mr. Fairway, it has been too long, so it has. Eh? If I'm not very much mistaken, I believe tis fast approaching, is it not? Your repayment date. I beg your pardon? You borrowed 20 guineas on me, sir. At an inconceivable amount. Rate of interest? You tricked me. It's... It's extortion. Well, now it is that a touch of bigotry? Bigotry, is it? Bigotry. Bigotry. A sort of bigotry that might motivate a fella to pass all his crimes off on another. Urgh. And young Mister Faust. Please, sir, what do you want with me, sir? You do be making hats for a name, and do you not? That there is a top s hat sliding about on your head. Is that one of your own creations? Is it? It's a sliding hat. Uh, well, um, I'm we're still an, just an apprentice, you understand. I'm learning my perfect fit for whatever gent, fine gent walks through the door. The perfect fit, is it? Well, it is a very distinctive design, so it is. Many customers like it, I tell you. They think like the distinctive touch. Slimmers. Slimmers, such as Thrice Fire Mason. <laughs> there was a photographic print of the victim submitted as evidence for my lord. Hmm? Oh. Ah, yeah, just you mean. I can't help. Thinking that the poor fellow's hat looks distinctly familiar, wouldn't you say? Um, huh? That's one of my hats. Aye, it is. So it would seem the brickmaker was a customer of yours. The sort of customer I'd wager you could have had a wee quarrel with over the distinctness of the goods. Oh, no, sir. Absolutely not, sir. Well, there's really nothing more to add. It wouldn't be right to say the two fellers here haven't the remotest connection to the victim, you see. He is very sus, Chris. The rest of my case. He's not a good person, but I don't think he's the murderer. Yep. You weasel! weasel. Better at this than I am. The one guy needs to find a dentist, holy. 
Yeah, he's gonna rip his teeth out of his head. Yep. Mikuta has certainly been through thorough in his research, hasn't he? Please don't let me to the interruption hold up the proceedings. I got a Hat Hunter Award. I got an achievement, I'm guys. Point out he's a businessman and he's meant to be ruthless. Hold it. That's true. He seems very nice at the surface, but he's very ruthless. One of these last statements have one more statement. I believe is this one. Try opening a skylight, you see. have something to say about that, Miss Lestrade? Mr. Lestrade! It opens. Hmm? Skylight. That is what you were talking about, right? Why are you putting in another smoke pellet? Our skylights open that easy. More easily than you can load that weapon. A lie, I tell you. Otherwise, when I broke wind, I... I... Can't do it from inside, you mug. Oh! Look, a few weeks ago, I was up on the roof deck of oh, one of all them drags. And I had a great haul. I mean, I had purses coming out of me ears. Mr. Strait, that is not the form of being, of to be eagle leasing. E e Eagleizing. Uh, Eagleizing. On the subject of your criminal activities, this game has so many big words. Eulogizing, yeah. Eulogizing. Good thing you have all these English majors here to slap you around with the la English language. <laughs> hmm. At least I got Jamie to be, uh, who's a biologist to study the body. What? 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 <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> well, anyway, I had a bit of a scare. <laughs> when I lifted the last bloke's purse, it got, it got wise of me. A four of them surrounded me, so I couldn't off, off the bus and leg it. So what I did. Use the last skylight, open the catch, and jump right in through. What? If the catch from the skylight is on the top side, that's why you can't open it from the cabin. Skylight opens from the roof deck? Far left. Far left. Climb to the roof. Up onto the roof of the omnibus at once and verify the witness's claims. Yeah, there's a latch up there. Yeah. Like you said earlier. Oh. oh, my hot! Put the gun away. You say that, but there's a lot of people with violent things in the room. Order, order, order. Or it appears that the street girl's statement is quite true. I can't believe it. The skylight opens. And from the roof deck! So you're kind of just pulling air out of your butt. Not the game. This could be the clue we've been looking for. Well, Council of Defense, please continue with our cross examination. Yes, my lord. But well, the skylight opens. Perhaps I should investigate it for myself. Investigate what? If you're sure the victim fell through the skylight, where's your proof? That's the that's the statement that probably should gonna be looking at. Oh, the blood on the floor. Maybe so, yeah. Why say they let people see quite clearly?
Is that blood on it? Is, is that blood on the door handle? I feel like that's uh, blood right there. Right there. If you look up. Yeah. Yes, it does open very Why doesn't it? Wide enough to kick someone through? Really? Naruto. Why someone like me? What is it? Just here. This. That's without question. Blood. Won't there be a blood stain there? Why would there be a blood stain there? Because you just freaking made the reference that it would be there, you dinguses. Mm hmm <laughs> Kill me. They kill me naked. They repeat everything. That's the point of the game. Objection. Also, if I killed you, Jamie would not approve. Me. But if I let you die, that's a different story. I'd still not approve. <laughs> uh, I can't, I can't, I can't guarantee his safety in Back for Blood is all I can say, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> On the night in question, the victim was fatally stabbed in the stomach, and immediately afterwards, the victim's body was pushed through the skylight in the Kenta cabin below. Those artifacts and irrefutable proof. It remains clearly visible on the omnibus that stands before us today in this very courtroom. Or that's that's under humbug. Ugh, you can't possibly have ever any evidence. No, you can't. I mean, we can't. We didn't do it. I tell you, it's impossible. Irrefutable proof here in this courtroom. Consul. Yes, my lord. I believe everyone would appreciate a little clarification here. Hmm. Or exactly within the omnibus is evidence you allude to. Report. You will point out what it proves the victim fell through the roof deck through the skylight. Nani. Oh, there it is. I, was, I thought it was like, does it disappear? God dang it, I have to press X. Stop repeating yourself! Uh... Got it! Got it. Why, Jupiter, is, is that... Blood? Done, done, done! Why is the word blood red? Because it's, uh, it's evidence. evidence. Oh. Urgh. This blood stain proves two things. Firstly, when the incident occurred, the skylight of the omnibus was open. Uh, what? And secondly, the victim was already bleeding when he fell through the opening. My. Why are you consulting your notes? I don't know. And so it follows that Mr. McGilded, who was inside the closed cabin himself at the time, cannot possibly be guilty of this crime. Hi, Carl. Hi, Carl. Oh! Order, order, order. Oh, what? But, 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 but the, the blood could have sprayed up there when the fellow stabbed inside the cabin. I only found its way, it only found its way in the partic one particular spot in the skylight. Sure, and that would be very convenient. Ah. And let's keep in mind the skylight catch can only be unfastened on the root duck. Yeah, I myself wouldn't have been able to open it now, would I? But, 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 but. no way to know for certain is there. If the gent really fell through the sky, I mean. That guy's about to break his cane with his teeth. Why don't you take yeah. a look at or between the two seats, Mr. Forst? There's blood there. Aftermath of the show, the poor fella. Dropped from the far height. Right, sword. No. But, but, can't be. It's all... Lies! My fellow jury members. I think we can all agree that this is clear proof of the defendant's innocence, can't we? I believe we can, sir. 
appeared to me where this filthy rubbish can be found in this room. But they thought they could pull a wool of eyes, did they? He's typing very fast. Oh, go. The only problem is, where's Beppo in this? I really... Yeah, what's up with the cab cabbie? He's sitting two feet in front of this. A chilling performance, Mr. McGilded. Oh, and what would you be referring to there now, Lord Von Zykes? A blood stain on the frame of the skylight. This evidence is null and void. What? Why? For one extremely simple reason. That smear of blood never existed. What? Wait, what are you talking about? It's there for all to see, and it's clearly blood. Objection. I personally attended the Scar Scarlet's investigation of the alley bus. The officers involved went over the carriage with a fine tooth comb. So I can state that absolutely surety. Surety. No such smear of blood existed in the carriage. At least not until this trial began. But. Are you some are you suggesting, Lord Von Zyke, that the stain of blood was fabricated, my lord? Yes. While the court war has been in session. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm super confused now. What? They think probably turned to smoke screen. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Because the luggage was there. I saw the luggage, and I'm pretty sure that it was there. Also, hey, Biz. Biz, happy early new year to you, dude. I hope you're doing well. Not new year yet in Hawaii either. It's, it's, it's not going to be New Year till like for like four and a half hours. Or yeah. three and a half hours, actually. Hey, what a pal of I must say, I didn't expect such a crude reasoning from a prosecutor of your standing Lord Von Zykes. How you been doing, Biz? Suffering. What I Magnus McGirred, a fellow known all over the capital, for his contributions to the public life. They don't take he kindly to slander, and I'll fight it to the bitter end. Even if it's rolling off the tongue of the Reaper of Bill. Oh. It's the make it. I realize that this is your first appearance in court as the key. However, I am well aware of your involvement behind it. A great many affairs of dubious me. You're very adept when it comes to avoiding getting the each time it happens that a case you're involved in is investigated, you adapt the facts. Adapt the facts? What does that even mean? When you wield a fortune the size of Mr. McGilded's, however ill-gotten it may be, nothing is impossible. Tampering with evidence, manipulating the scene of the crime, bribing the witnesses, a toast of host your ability to concoct the most convenient of stories so do, doing good hey, he's over the legal limit now yeah very much so unless he's not really drinking all of that and he's just pouring it back into the bottle that's disgusting <laughs> <laughs> oh hot pot dude enjoy some of that hot pot dude i hope this is a good some couple good hot places <laughs> That sounded really funny for some reason. <laughs> hot pot, oh dude, enjoy some of the hot pot, dude. <laughs> oh, too many dudes. There's some good hot pots when you come to Seattle, man. I hope you take Who care. Never had hot pot? You never had hot pot? Come back to Seattle. That sounds like the most like Seattle phrase, dude. Enjoy some of the hot pot, dude. <laughs> when we were back at Western, it's probably good because it probably right, makes yeah. sense. I was I lived in Fairhaven for a year. Right. Yeah, it's Fairhaven dialect. Yeah. Tut tut, Lord Von Zykes, this will not do to be sure. Will it now, Council? Oh, oh no. I think it's fair to say this does sound all rare, like a rare, far fetched excuse by a desperate man. The blood on the skylight still exists, you say. 
What if your if yous will all cast your mind back? Is it not true that the omnibus there has been in the courtroom the entire time? How could it possibly have been have put a smear of blood in it without the world and his wife seeing? Isn't that right? Now counsel. The thing is, he also signaled that that smoke screen last time. It's true. true. Omnibus has been in full view the entire time that the court has been in session. The Lord friend. Here's to hearing your opinion on this matter in your own words. As you wish. Could someone have tampered with Almas during this trial? If you're asking me, I think it could have been possible. Remember when the one girl sidestepped and we all thought it was kind of just weird? That. And also there was a giant smoke screen when the entire courtroom was evacuated. I wasn't here for that. Yeah, that's true. As a defense lawyer, it's my job to advocate for the defendant as best as I can. But still, I feel as though there's something more even more important at stake here. There's no evidence to suggest that the defendant did as my learned friend suggests. However, in terms of having the opportunity to carry out the alleged tempering, there is one possibility. Good gracious! Are you so counsel? Yes, there is. It seems my learned Beneath fans has no intention of running from this scene. See? I'm sure everyone still remembers clearly the recess that we were forced to take as a result of a smoke grenade fired by the witness currently in the stand, Miss Gina Lestrade. Lestrade. Lestrade? Strad. What is going on? Careful not to cover your face. Bailiff, don't let the accused escape. Secure the omnibus. All emergency recess. And that's what happened last, and then we had a recess. The courtroom was filled with smoke, and everyone was thrown into confusion. All of us made were made to leave this chamber. In that brief interval, under the veil of smoke and in all the chaos, it could have been possible to steal inside the omnibus. Are you wise? What are you trying to pull, eh? You rotten feckless cougar! Feckless? Cougar? You're supposed to be defending me! It's, uh, it's Galger. Galger? Okay. Tis a wicked plot. Tis a plot to undermine me. So it is. Objection! Whatever you think this is, it changes nothing. The facts are the same. After this courtroom was evacuated earlier, as a result of the smoke grenade, a number of inconsistencies materialized in the relation of the omnibus. Consistencies? Such as. The starter is the storage compartment and the rear passengers. When the police investigated the omnibus, this compartment was full of the driver's items. Secondly, we have a smear of blood on the edge of the skylight. As I have said, that there is not present at the storage child this morning. Would they be able to tell if it's fresh or not? But they don't have that that stuff right now, though, Jamie. If it's wet versus if it's dry. Mm -hmm. Color is too new. Unfortunately. Mm. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? James. 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 Arms. What? Nope, wrong one. What? There we go. <laughs> Unfortunately, last one sucks. No one was able to corroborate your crimes. It's true. When the omnibus was first wheeled out, both the storage compartment and the sky were shut. But I checked the storage compartment. Accordingly, I'm afraid to say we cannot establish with there any, any certainty if this evidence is a result of tampering or not. Indeed, my lord. 
no doubt that there was not a single person who saw it fit to verify such things. I think. Sorry. About the omnibus. Is there anything else unusual about the omnibus? I have an inkling. Lord. Yes, Ronzo. There is one further inconsistency. A mark that could surely could not have been present at the start of a trial. Or what in devil's name are you going on to say now? If you dare betray me, you little mugget, you'd better be watching your back. Silence. The court awaits the defense kiss clarification. I'll keep swinging one way and then, then the other. I have no idea what's the truth and what's deception. What am I supposed to believe here? So, I have to ask you to elaborate, Counsel. Where exactly is the ledger mark here appear during a point of trial? Uh, it's this thing. So yeah, it's the full blood. That, it's the wrong color again. I mean, not just that. It, it would have been very obvious to begin with if it was uh, there to begin with. Consider that the victim fell through the skylight on the floor of the cabin, you would certainly expect to find signs of blood where he landed. But as far as I recall, this blood stain on the cabin floor was not there when the omnibus was first brought into the courtroom. Good lord! Yes, I do believe you're correct, Counsel. Well said. Although, as an av as advocate for the defense, you might say that was a very careless slip of the tongue. I believe that blood stain on the floor is a decisive piece of evidence. But if the question is whether the evidence is genuine or whether it is unlawfully fabricated by someone, I feel compelled to admit that there's at least a possibility that the evidence is fake. Oh boy. Did you do it, Nick? Rock! This trial is over! Nick killed it. I've done everything I possibly can to cooperate with the court, but it's all over now. But, but you're the defendant. It's all over, I tell ye. Oh boy. Memory, recollection. What people think, think they saw, tis all a nonsense. Facts are what counts the fact is the bloodstain is there now. Uh, well, and over the course of the desperate terror, long and discreetly drawn out has it been, it good for the nothing Reaper of Bailey has failed to present any decisive, decisive evidence at all. I'm a scandal, I'm, I'm scandalized. So I am. I thought better of Lord Van Sykes. Well, my lord? Let's concur with the defendant. The unaffirmation recollection of individual cannot stand as evidence. At this moment, this time, the particular bus stain in question is very much in existence. In the absence of any credible method by which to prove its alleged existence, prove its non existence. We didn't take a picture. But to say that it would be improper for this trial to continue. Lord Lordship, you can't be serious. Reverend Sykes, what is your position? Prosecution, my lord. As no further witnesses or evidence. Very well. In that case, I believe, I believe we have explored every po possible avenue in this matter. I will proceed with my adjudication. Blech. Normally, I am, of course, obliged to confirm with the defense first. What formality? As things stand at the moment, it would seem that Mr. McGitter would be found not guilty. Yes. Which would mean we've won. Is that really the right outcome here? Is it really out all right to try to be, um, 
come to end now with the, all these unexplained inconsistencies. I'm so to the fence. Your closing statement, please. Yes, my lord. The defense believes the defendant could be guilty. Nick, no. That's not your job. I'm not getting paid by this. Your job is to lie and tell them he's not guilty. I'll go through it to the end of time. I am here in this courtroom today, and I didn't read that. Whoopsie. I'm here in this courtroom today to advocate for the defense of my client, Mr. Gearded. However, at this moment in time, I cannot, in all good conscience, attest fully to the defendant's innocence. What are you saying, man? And really? Without any question, there is no conclusive evidence to prove that the defense is guilty. However, there is also no conclusive evidence to prove that this he is innocent. Word. Good gracious me! Order, order! Is this a mistrial? This is our unprecedented behavior, counsel. The French lawyer calling an accused innocent to question? Are you so a sound of mind? <laughs> oh, twas a grand decision to appoint you as my lawyer. So it was a grand decision. What? I say. That's where that coin was. I finally got the last blue coin in Bianco Hills. <laughs> he pulled out a coin, man. Yeah, I was fucking lying, and you said that at the right time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I must say, I didn't expect quite this, such an exciting spectacle at the end there, but still. Here, have this for your troubles. Flip it, please. Your job here is done, fella. And some fine work you're done. So you have. What do you mean? It is just the right honorable gentleman to succinctly put it afore. The trial can't go on anymore. In your closing statement there was how did he put it? Nothing more than formality. Make of this. This lordship is feeling me. This corpse was apparently, I said. Everyone is in disarray. That one guy is typing at ungodly speed. Yep. Now that the procedure have unfolded this way, I'm compelled to declare a premature end of this trial. Furthermore, the court must accept the defendant's plea. I thank you, set, Colonel, my lord. Phoenix, I told you he was sus. Mm -hmm. I hereby pronounce the verdict of this court. Objection. He is. But, but we still haven't determined the blood stain in Omnibus is genuine or not. I don't know if these witnesses are telling the truth or a pack of lies. We don't know. We have no idea about the truth. Lord Franz Sykes. The case made by Progressive was flawed, plain and simple. If indeed the Omnibus presented it was as evidence was tampered with, the prosecution is at fault for allowing such disgraceful perturbations and perversion of justice to take place. Apologies, my lord. Objection. But wait. When we were evacuated from the courtroom, Long von Sykes ordered the evidence to be secured. I'm afraid the prosecution cannot shun responsibility in that matter. That's uh, so unfair. So now we're seeing what the British courtroom is like, which is why something had to change. That was the hint. 
The, compar the culpability of the defendant was not, at the present time, being established by this court. Consequently, the jury will not be required to prefer judgment. <laughs> Lord Von Zykes, it's been a pleasure, so it has. And as for you, my dear fella, wouldn't have asked for a better defense. You mean to tell me that it was all a great waste of time? This the law of the land, my good man. If you're, if ye, like, are pursuing the matter further, you can always go ahead and try to change the law. I think that's the point. Good grief, you've got more to say to me, have ya? One thing, a warning. This is far from over. Well, something to be looking forward to then. Ah! <laughs> you are pronounced the friend at Magnificent Security. Well, I got the not guilty verdict, Chris. Nick, but you didn't win your case. It was so unsatisfactory. So yeah, I also was thinking, like, Justin's being not guilty. So happy when an innocent man walks free. I mean, he's not guilty, so I guess he's... I mean, technically speaking, innocent people walked free. Yes. There is one guilty person and then multiple uh, innocent people. The courtroom in pandemonium for the second time that they just delivered a verdict. My first ever trial in the Great Britain came to an abrupt end. With the defendant found not guilty, substantially a victory for us. That was definitely a different change in pace. Oh, I like it. Oh my god, more story. I want to get to Back for Blood. was a long trial. Yes, yes it was. Yes, this game is long. Your first trial ever, a trial on Foreign Soul, and your first victory, it was a wonderful performance. I mean, you can stop here. True. I don't know how much dialogue it is, so I'm just gonna keep going. Ice Cream Ninja shouting. Because he says I can stop at any time. Heartfelt congratulations. And to you, Sato, thank you for your assistance. Again, the trial was was actually really nice. I suppose we should be happy. The trouble is, we're still completely in the dark about what actually happened. Well, we didn't have enough time. But isn't it wrong? I mean, who know who was actually responsible for Mr. Mason's death? We don't even know that. The claim of defense is obtain a verdict that exonerates the defense. You carried out your duty to perfection. Aye, that you did. Justin was gilded. Ah, and that girl is with him too. Well, it seems the stories are true. Oh, what stories? About six enormous fireworks, they do be letting off when there is a verdict of not guilty. I'm sure yes, you must be seeing them now. Spectacular, wouldn't you say? Yes, definitely. I'd heard it be sight behold, and to be sure it was. And I've you to tunk. Suppose you have an opportunity you have an opportunity to see it. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm sure I really did something anything. What to know are you sending fella? How did I walk out there of him man then? I don't think it was so much thanks to me as down to your planning. You're a straight talking fella, aren't you? I must say, you had me astray in the head there once and or twice. But you're young and headstrong. <laughs> yeah, tis water under the bridge. Planning, yes. Congratulations. He's gonna try and kill you, man. I mean, we saved him. I mean, no one else took it, so I technically think he owes us for at least getting him out of there. He owes you nothing. 
I think it's just all. A knife in the back. Literally is. Only one thing that matters. Oh, I. They've all seen that I didn't do it. That odious and obstinate grandest. I suppose it is. Now the fine fellas of Scotland Yard can take matters in hand and sort out the weedy to any weedy. There's be it for what it is and there get to the truth. Absolutely faith in them, so I have, after all. I do, do be proven a good number of their rages with all the taxes I pay. Wow. Did you just say the... He pays their wages, which means he controls the Scotland Yard. So then... As we agreed aforehand, 1,000 guineas were your, your troubles, fella. Oh, no, no, no. I couldn't possibly expect that much. Ora! Ora! Be a whist! Be a, a humble paper, are ya? You do... Hey, Ara? He's... Huh? He said Ara? He said Ara, yeah. Ara, Ara, Ara. if you insist. Ara, Ara. What a nice man paying people for the job they've done. Yeah, but have this still. On all, you deserve a reward. Mr. Mc... Magnus McGillet. Everything is ready, sir. If you'd like to follow me into the courtroom... This officer, sooner than I was led to believe. I hope it's not inconvenient, sir. There were some changes to the schedule. Well, I must be making tracks now. It's time for the inspection. Sorry, what inspection? They're going, they're going to examine the omnibus again. So I'm told. I asked if I could be present for it myself. To examine it again? Now? Naturally. I'm under no obligation to take part in any more matter of this matters now. But as upstanding member of London society, I do be doing my best to help where I can. It's a gentleman duty. Such a gentleman, is he? So then, fare thee well. It was an absolute pleasure meeting you. He be venting this. I hope you are a whale of time while you're studying here in Great Old Britain. And there he goes, a free man. Oh, I forgot she was here too. He's gonna shoot me. Oh, no. He's gonna shoot me. He's gonna shoot me. Don't move. Well, as I want to say, get a move on. She really does take forever to load that thing. It's Lestrade. Would you mind putting that thing down? She's got a gun. But her grown up. Sorry. I hate her. And I hate all grown up. She's a cannibal. Yep, she is. She is 17 years old. There you are. What the fuck? I like how that's your first response. You ate him. Yep. Nothing naughty running off like that. She is on the cover of the game, so I was wondering who she is. Some kind of picnic? Who's this little girl now? Yeah, and taking that with you as well. Looking forward to the trial. One of my experiments, smoke grenade launcher. Ah. Holy shoot, is that a bazooka? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Do you want to play or do you want to beat me? <sighs> Um, excuse me, but who are you? A tuber? Oh, good day to you. I'm, well, the inventor, I suppose, of that machine. The inventor? Well, no more grenades are so dull. I agree. Quite, quite important. If you have to be shrouded in smoke, it could be at least a pretty color, I thought to myself. Do you have to sh be shrouded in smoke, though, at all? I just took off my eyes off it. I was changing on to a different omnibus and she pinched it. Luckily, I fitted it with a telegraphic beacon. How what? advanced is she in the 19th century? What? I don't know, what? what? I have no idea what this girl is talking about. Anyway, you're coming with, to me, with me now. Back to my laboratory. What? What for? I apologize, of course, Sidney, to my technician. She's pouting. 
What? You mean, say sorry? You must say sorry to what you've done. Something wrong. Surely an adult has told you that before. An adult? Don't listen to her, not adults. Come along then, follow me. Fine. Have it your way. Oh, good. You see, I knew you wa you'd want to do the right thing. I'm fairly sure that's what she wants. Is what she wants is not to get shot by the massive gun of yours. Yeah, yeah, I'd believe that. Yep. You leaving now? Then. Bye bye. I'm so sorry for all the fuss. Who was she? She was a lively one. Yeah. I'll miss you, mystery girl. <laughs> we'll see her again next trial. I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, do we perhaps ought to be our way too. Yes, you're right, but... Her too. Oh. I haven't had time to find a place to stay. No sooner had we arrived in London than we had rush here. Traveling cases are still at... with a bailiff. bailiff. I was originally planning to spend the day in search of lodging. At this late hour, I'm afraid we might be out of luck. Sorry, though. No plan. Who's coming first? I... I've heard a lovely park where we could spend the night. Please tell me you're not thinking of Mr. McGilda Park. I know it may be a little chilly, but this time we're a putt. Youthfulness will see us through. In a kimono, no. nonetheless. I think you're gonna freeze to death. Don't kimonos have like a bunch of layers? Eh. Won't Grace know Ow. this? I don't know. Tell. Kimonos, many layers. Now or yes. Uh, I have never worn a kimono, so I couldn't answer that. Grace oh. probably could. Yeah, a Susato is crying. Oh dear, that doesn't sound like you. Now I'm starting to regret turning Mr. Kita down. That 1,000 guineas would have paid for a lovely warm room or mansion. It would have paid for a lot of things. And so the trial to determine my worthiness for the study tour was over by the end of the day, end of our first day in London. However, as we were soon to learn, there were more trying times ahead. Just as the Reaper of Bailey had warned, the case was far from over. Oh, we're still going with this one case? No, we're... It's like a war. Oh, it's animated cutscene! Oh. Who is that dude? Set a fire, Daddy. Who's in there? Uh, oh, good God. There's, there's someone in there. Oh. Oh. This, this can't be. Someone died. Who do you think was in there, Nick? One of the witnesses. I believe it would probably be fair play. Maybe. I mean, he was the only other person in debt, so... That's, yeah, I mean, that's a good guess as any. Well, what an ending. Ooh, an ironic if it was just a fancy game. Advent Adventure of the Clouded Kokoro. Is that the set of Clouded Heart or something? Yeah, Kokoro means heart. Ah. But I guess it sounds cooler to just not translate that in English. That's true. All right. James, Chris, let's get going. I know it's a little right. later than I originally started, but... Get some plays in. Alright, hold on, let me set up. By the way, there's only been a na a one hour left in America. Well, not actually in America because the Hawaii. Continental United States, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say Continental. This is gonna be one quite, quite a year. Alright, I think I changed my mic. Am I good? 
Oh my god, you changed. Yeah, I changed my mic because I gotta move. Yep. To play the Xbox. I was 15 and I lost myself. The Ace Pack. XPX Packs. The Ace Pack. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a cliff. That was definitely a cliffhanger. That's for sure. All right, I'll be right back. So I will definitely say that last bit of it is gonna. I'm gonna see what we're gonna do. The there's only two more trials left. Two new more chapters left. So. I think the main villain of this whole game is pretty sure or Mr. McGillard is going to be involved with this entire thing one way or another to the very end. So at least I said I complete trial three, but I wasn't, that was very an unsatisfactory ending, but I, that was the intended of that whole thing. So can't say for certain uh it i mean it is un unsatisfactory but at the very least it was it was well designed so many twists almost like they are want to keep you playing hmm i don't know i don't know we won once i i i want to keep my win streak go like yeah you know, i think i might just retire justin plus we we haven't found a place to live i think uh i think i'm gonna retire from being a uh lawyer maybe make phoenix like never be born from here on out <laughs> there's no such thing as a second game oh yes winning i have any freezing in the london winter i mean got park benches at the very least.